The Knot Live, what's hot in the world of weddings. As you might imagine, being a wedding planner to the stars takes years of experience, decades even. But my next guest is a fresh face, and he already has loads of big bashes under his belt. He planned the wedding for Joey Fatone and for Beverly Mitchell from 7th Heaven. He also had a very big event in December. One of the Jonas Brothers got married, and he was the event planner for it. He'll tell us all about their amazing fairy tale nuptials. Here is Michael Russo. Come on in. Hi, Hi Michael. How are you? It's so good to see you. Thank Have a you. seat. Thanks for having me. So, what I thought was really funny about this, too, is the fact that you have really been into weddings for a very long time. So, decades of experience, you kind of already do have that because you started really young, right? We have That's a really true. fun picture for everyone to see. Uh, you here. know, ever since I was little, I could just remember, you know, loving weddings and wanting to be part of them. And, you know, looking at this picture, I was. I think five years old and I orchestrated my first wedding. <laughs> that is hilarious. I love that, that picture. So how did you, you know, know the Jonas Brothers? What happened? Tell me about the call that you got. So um, I was actually in San Francisco planning a huge major wedding and um, like literally 1,200 guests were coming in and my phone rings and they're like, it's Kevin Jonas. And I'm like, what? It's Kevin Jonas. Were you Jonas. completely surprised? It was out of the blue? Well, I kind of, I kind of had an idea because my friend Joey Fatone um, he called him as kind of like got a referral. It, right, got it, got it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, he just called and I was just like, let's do That's it. That's unbelievable. <laughs> that is great. So, so tell me a little bit, what did they want going into it? Did they know they wanted this big fairy tale kind of wedding? You know, they had a very clear idea of what they wanted, which was exciting. Um, which so, really doesn't happen all the time. No, for the most part, brides generally have an idea. You have to educate them a little bit. Right. But um, they, they definitely had a, an idea of what they wanted, so I kind of just took that to a different level. Did they already have the place picked out, Ohika? Or? Um, they did have the place already okay, picked out, so which knew. was good because I knew Ohika like the back of my hand. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Now, tell me a little bit about the invitations because there's something pretty unique about this. You actually made these yourself. I did. Like, literally made these I, yourself. I did. I handmade uh, 275, wow. <laughs> which was a little bit of a task. How um, long did that take you? It took me about like four days in total. Wow. But being, you know, the profile of the event and stuff, I had to keep all the details pretty private. Right. So that's what I do for right. VIP clients. That I have to sense. do all the printing and stuff myself. And that's right. Ohika Castle. Oh, isn't it just beautiful? In the summer. I mean, the perfect location for this kind of wedding. Yeah, it's pretty stunning. So there was a party before the party, and that was a, something really different, right? We did. We had, um, a, after the rehearsal dinner, yep. we had a roller skating themed um, after party, that's which was really great. exciting. Oh, that's so much and it was fun. so funny because Danielle knew pretty much all of the sizes of everyone's shoes, so it was really that a surprise. So funny. So you yeah. had all the skates there. No one knew. They just came. They had the tag on them, and it was like grandma skates yep. right here. It was great. That's awesome. Tell me a little bit about the attire too, because we love to hear about what everyone was well, wearing. Well, Danielle wore um, a strapless custom Vera Wang gown, oh, which beautiful. was so stunning. And to actually see it come to life, because she makes her gowns from like the inside out, which was amazing. Oh, yeah. And then Kevin wore a custom tux from Brooks Brothers. Really nice. They just which look was really like pretty. such a gorgeous couple there. And too, the girls um, wore Vera Wang gowns as well. And uh, like the accent color was uh, sapphire. And I just love the bouquet and the bouquet wrap on uh, the bridesmaids. And then she had a very special bouquet wrap too. Yeah, didn't so she, she had um, Swarovski crystal medallions with photos for loved ones that couldn't be there. Wow. And then the rings, there's a story with the rings here too, and they gave each other some gifts. Yes, so they had custom rings from Jacob and Company, which were beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, his I just wedding love gift. How her manicure looks too, <laughs> I have to say. His wedding gift. Um, to her was a beautiful pair of glass slippers. I couldn't it's a believe this. It's a Cinderella story. So and you had to help find these glass slippers. I did. I, you know, he said, I want to do glass slippers. And I was like, of course. I was like, that could be easy. Of course, glass slippers. It wasn't, easy. It wasn't that easy, but... But you found them. I found them, them yes. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> incredible. And so this is inside the event space. It just looks amazing. We had about 24 inches of snow fall inches. the day of the wedding, which if it was the day before, it would have been right. truly a nightmare. But being that it was that day, we got through it. I mean, we had guys on top of the tents shoveling snow off of the tent. During the, this <laughs> ceremony, or during the reception, during right? During the reception. And guests would have never known. That is just Absolute, unbelievable. Absolutely. That's great. 
So, and this is actually, we kind of have a replica of what you did in Ohika with these beautiful flowers. Now, right. these were on every table? These were on um, six tables, okay. and they were really long. And, I mean, I hired this amazing florist, Pedestals. They're actually local in Long Island. Oh, okay, great. And they took my vision and my um, drawings and stuff and brought them to life, to what, what it is behind us. And how much did the couple get involved with the specifics of that? Like, did they, they, they were so great to work with because they were so hands-on. Um, right. right from the get-go, so they just they they loved every every aspect of it. Wow, that's incredible! This is really gorgeous, and it smells so good too. Oh, and the cake was pretty interesting too because yes. she picked up some of the lace from the dress. Right. right? So each layer of the cake was um, you know designed with us. Um, so we did some of the the lace on her dress, some snowflakes, which uh, who would have known? Perfectly <laughs> We were going to have a ton of right? uh, snowflakes. Oh, wow, that's so beautiful. And the cake was just made by the facility there at Yeah, Ohika, Ohika has their, um, their whole pastry department. That is a pretty impressive looking it was cake. And I love the lighting, too, and the drapery. It's yeah, the lighting, so lighting is key. So I have a question. What do you think most, the most important thing is for brides to keep in mind? I would probably say budget. Um, Obviously, the That's money a is one, yeah. like a huge issue. So for all you brides out there, get a budget and stick to it. Right. Obviously, um, sticking to it. That's right. the tough part. Obviously, yeah. you will go over. So get an amount in your mind that you don't want to go over. You cap think it you off. Just sort of cushion it a little bit. Yeah, definitely cushion it. Okay. But put a cap on it because you will you will go over budget. Yeah, I think that always happens with brides too. Yeah. Absolutely. And another thing that you had said earlier that I thought was really interesting is you said the after party. It's kind of over. It's not necessary. Not that it's over, but right. you're already having a party. Why have an after party? Which right. I think is interesting for people. Yeah, my thoughts on the after parties are, you know, everyone's having such a great time inside dancing and stuff, and that's really what they want to do. Right. You so already have the extend, momentum. extend your DJ and just put more money kind of toward your DJ, if right. that makes sense, or band. So extend the party instead of having a second party. Right, because then you have to get more decor, you have to get, you know, another right. room and right. move everyone. So just keep everything involved. That's great, great advice. Thank you so much, Michael. Oh, thank this you so much. This was great. I really appreciate you coming by. Anytime. So for more great wedding style tips, go to the knot.com slash wedding style.